Hey guys, here's a little update on Star Push for you. I'll let him do the talking and he can tell you what he wants oh, to wow, say. Oh, you don't want to say it? No, you can talk. I quit. Yeah. <laughs> no, tell him what's going on, like more or less. I can't say too much yet. I can't get into any details yet because it's kind of against the terms and conditions. Uh, but to be honest, the contract's kind of looking like it might not be worth it for me. I still have to get more details and... Uh, Hard to say. It's a 50-50 thing right now. So, yeah. you, uh, and the thing is, I already did stage one because they expect me to close my account, and now they're even talking about me deleting my videos. So, yeah. So basically, he's on stage one of the process, and chances are he might be coming back to YouTube. No guarantees. Yep. But for now, his channel is basically dead. No, it's still well, there. The videos are going to stay up because I will not delete the videos, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. So, so even for the amount they're offering, so it's a, a job. It's pretty much a job. Yeah, so basically. But it involves me having to move. Yeah. So. Yeah, so basically, he's going to keep his channel, people. He's not dropping his channel. Yeah. So his channel will still be there. It might be, it might be uh, dead for a couple of months or whatever, but his channel will still be there. Is it, yep. And that's the deal. If he can't get that bargaining yeah then basically he's not going to take it yeah because so. for an amount that they're offering in <laughs> two three years i'll probably be making that on youtube yeah so but i, mean, I won't get some of the awesome stuff they're saying but still. and we are true youtubers so <laughs> that true. means a lot <laughs> yeah so basically his channel will still be there so he'll still have all his subscribers and all his videos up there he just won't be posting videos on his channel for a couple of months or until this goes through or doesn't go through and in the meantime, all the updates will be done on this channel and on Adam's channel as well, AG Steak Man. So I guess if you want to see more on Curtis, this is where you got to see it. Yep. <laughs> so for now, that's about it. And oh, now, now and one I'll, more thing, I still got like 20 videos that I might technically upload anyway. Yeah. Uh, that are filmed previously, so that should be fine. I also have two flashlight review videos that have to get up on my page because I'm not going to screw over a company that I'm uh, accepted the products to do reviews on. So those videos are already made. I just need to upload them. Yeah, so get, he'll get that done. And uh, and now I'm going to add to this video. I got a, basically our, our Princess Auto Haul. I'll add that on to this video as well. And we'll do it all in one shot. So from... Star Puss himself, you guys just heard the best update you're going to get. Yeah, that's it. Don't say any more. And okay. I also told my buddies not to say any more. <coughs> yeah. And to be honest, there's still probably about 100 people on my YouTube page that knows exactly who and what's going on, but not the exact company. So, but of course, they're not going to say anything else. So, yeah. So, so anyway, not, guys, I'll add the uh, Prince's Auto Hall to that. The one that me and Curtis went on earlier today. I already have it taped. I'm just going to add it to this video. And I'm going to upload this right away, and you guys will be watching it. So for now, just hang on, watch the uh, Princess Auto Hall, and that'll be the end of her. Talk to you later. Well, boys, I just went to Princess Auto. Maybe I made a mistake, spent a little bit of money. So this is my Princess Auto Hall video. <laughs> I got these little guys to try out. They're a uh, two-piece snake drain cleaner thing. I figured it'd be nice and flexible like that, just for cleaning the beginning of the tub and stuff like that. Try those out. Then I brought myself a four foot extension blow gun. It's four feet long. What I'm planning on using this for is basically when I want to blow up my garage, just blow it all out rather than sweeping. I'm getting lazy. Figured I'd try this thing out, see if it works for that. If it don't work for that, I got another plan for it, but that's sort of an idea on there. And then uh, a couple other small things here. But that's uh, a couple of most glue traps. I'm going to throw those in the motorhome over the winter just to see if we can catch ourselves a few niches if there's any that get in. And then we got some cable staples. Now you guys are probably going to wonder, well, why would you want those? Well, the cable staples are basically for... The new monitor I'm setting up up there. So I'm going to have that monitor. And I got those two monitors over there. I have my computer monitor here. And my laptop over here. And that, I'm going to be using that monitor. So i got to run a cable from there. 
right from the back of this monitor all the way back over to that monitor to hook into it. So that's what the cable staples are going to be used in. Uh, finally bought myself one of these little flexible camera stands. I've been looking at them the last three times we went there. Uh, hang on a second here. How can I do this? Okay. These things are kind of cool. They got three legs on them, so you can make it into like a regular stand or whatever. Just by adjusting them, it's hard to do it one hand, but give you guys an idea. You got like your three legs, so you can make it like a regular camera stand. Or they're they're like uh, flexible, so say for instance, uh, I want to put my camera up here. Well, I can take this thing, twist it out, and bang, bang. Now it's sitting there. You know, I can set it up there, or I can hook it so it goes around, right around the pipe. Uh, you know, walk over to the fridge door. I want my camera over here. I can lock it in to the fridge, the handles, and bang, I got my camera mount right here so I can mount my camera there. Like I say, this thing is just super flexible. You know, put it on, again, on a bench or whatever. Just bend the legs the way you need them, and away you go. And, uh, you know, it, it, I figure it's good for almost anything. Uh, worst comes to worst, I want to put it on a hook. Got to turn it around there, setting on a hook. You know, uh, you want to put it on a doorknob. <laughs> you know, just stick it on a doorknob, whatever. Just twist it up so it sits there. Uh, it's great, like I say, in all applications. So, no matter what I want to do with this thing, if you look, it's like totally flexible. I thought, what a cool thing to have. And the funny part is, it's like seven bucks. So I figured, what the heck, man? I've been wanting one, one for a while because I got my little camera, so now I got something to use it on. So anyway, that's part of my haul. Oops. Oh, if I don't fall off my chair and kill myself here. Then I got a bunch of goodies in here that I picked up. Relay pliers. Working on semi-trucks, I always have a problem pulling out the darn relays. So I saw these relay pliers, so I grabbed a set of those. They're like 16 bucks, I think. And look at this, guys. This is sweet. I always am looking for quarter inch sockets. I don't know if you can see that, but 47 piece quarter inch socket set that has all the metric, all the standard uh, sockets, as you can see there. Complete kit, like 74 bucks. So I figured, holy smoke, you gotta have that. And then, uh, I got myself a new uh, tie rod end tool because this one had the adapter to go right onto the air hammer and I needed that adapter at work and I needed the big tie rod tool for at work so I figured I'd buy that one. So I grabbed that, that was 25 bucks I think. And then uh, I bought myself a descaler. Uh, I watched a couple of guys doing body work and stuff like that and I figured for the Monte Carlo project, hey, I'm gonna need one of those anyway. And they're on sale for 29 bucks, so I grabbed one of those as well. So, that, and then, uh, just a bunch of random stuff here. This is, this is actually for Curtis, this stuff. He bought, uh, he bought himself, uh, whatever that is, a leather holster. And then he bought this little case. Uh, whatever that is, oh, some kind of belt holding case, and he bought himself some socks, and he bought himself a couple of bungee cords, so that's Curtis's haul there on that, so anyways, that's what we just did, we came back from Princess Auto, so I figured I'll make a video on it, and I'll call that, uh, for now, my Princess Auto haul, <laughs> and, and why I did it is, uh, I just wanted to. I, I needed some of that stuff, and it needed to be stuff I needed, so I figured I'd mouse go to Princess Auto and get what I wanted. And I went through the whole store and basically got what I wanted, and most of that stuff, everything except uh, uh, the wand, wasn't on, that was regular price, and the rotary pliers were regular price. Everything else was on sale, so I figured, ah, whatever. Just grabbed what I needed to grab. So that was our complete Princess Auto haul for today. And thanks for watching the video, and we'll get back to you guys with something new later. Thanks.